I have some of the most bullish news I've ever heard for Dogecoin. In this video, we are going to be discussing exactly that. But right now, cryptocurrencies are getting dumped on. The whales are dumping like crazy. In this video, we are going to be also discussing that. What's up, Miles? It's everyone here. Every single day I make videos about Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have many years of investment and trading experience and you cannot miss these time sensitive videos. If you want to get access to when I'm buying and selling cryptocurrencies, join the Patreon, which is in my top pin comment or in my video's description where you can join the 4,000 member Discord. You can talk to me on the phone. We can build you a portfolio and we can teach you technical analysis one on one. I'm giving away 200 Doge to one lucky winner this Saturday. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram and Twitter, and put Dogecoin giveaway in the comments. We're gonna get started right now, but before we do so, make sure you smash up the like button if you love crypto, if you love Dogecoin. That way we can get this video out there and share it with the Dogecoin community. And also, let me know in the comments, are we gonna to continue to dump more and more and more? Are we gonna finally start to see some green this week? We're gonna have a green week or a red week. What are y'all thoughts? All right, so we have some very good news to cover. We're gonna first talk about this little article and then we're gonna be moving on to the more juicier stuff. So Bitcoin drops as investors buy 22,000 and 20,000 puts. Puts basically means that you are betting that something goes down. And when that thing goes down, when you make a put option, you actually start to profit. So it's kind of a form of shorting. So right now we have a lot of people shorting cryptocurrencies. That's why they are going down like crazy among market manipulation, among a lot of things. All right. So what's happening right now is there's a lot of people betting on Bitcoin to hit 22,000 and 20,000. Bitcoin doesn't need to hit those exact numbers in order for them to profit. If Bitcoin continues to go down and down and down, especially at a rapid pace, they can definitely profit very quickly. But the interesting thing is, despite all the short term bearish puts or the bearish short options that we're seeing right now, is that the option market still remains bullish. So if we take a look at the option chart, in the future, we're seeing a lot of bullish momentum. We're seeing a lot of people betting big on cryptocurrencies. Ethereum, people are betting that Ethereum is going to hit $50,000 by next spring early or early summer. A lot of people are betting Ethereum is going to hit $50,000. There's a lot of call options. A call option is when people actually bet that it's going to go up. And a put option is when people bet that it's going to go down. And you can do these types of options in the stock market with most companies. Now let's go ahead and move on to the juicy stuff. So here we are on Twitter. We have Shibatoshi Nakamoto. This is Billy, one of the Dogecoin developers or was one of the Dogecoin developers. And then we have Ross Nicole. He's speaking. He took a clip of his Twitch stream. Ross Nicole is one of the Dogecoin developers. Um, and we're going to take a listen to what he had to recently say. Stream surprise on the 28th of July um, at 10 a.m. UK time. I've announced I have Oscar, who is the Dogecoin Ethereum bridge, joining me on stream. But I also have Vitalik. Yes, that Vitalik. The lead of Ethereum will be joining Oscar and I and Soma Green on stream uh, to talk about the Doge Ethereum bridge and just talk about Ethereum and Dogecoin and why Ethereum likes Dogecoin and Dogecoin likes Ethereum. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Vitalik Buterin, one of the founders and creators of Ethereum, is going to be on live stream with one of the Dogecoin developers on the 28th. This is huge. Very big news. I think that event will definitely have a strong effect on the price of Dogecoin and Ethereum. So what are they going to be discussing? As he said, they're going to be talking about Ethereum or working with Dogecoin and Dogecoin with Ethereum. Now, how are they going to be working with each other is the question. Basically, what's happening and what's already been happening for quite some time is that Ethereum has been working on a bridge with Dogecoin and Dogecoin, a bridge with Ethereum, which basically means scalability with Ethereum and Dogecoin is going to happen. It's already working, but they're working on to further improve and develop it so that it can go live. But basically what it means is that we have Ethereum, it's a blockchain network, and it's also a smart contracts platform. What's actually going to happen is Ethereum 
can run smart contracts for Dogecoin on the Ethereum network so that Dogecoin can have its own NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain without Dogecoin having to substantially change into a different type of cryptocurrency. So it's able to benefit off the things that Ethereum is really good at to allow Dogecoin to further develop and become better itself through this bridge. And who knows the benefits that Dogecoin will be able to bring for Ethereum. So this is definitely very, very bullish. And also, you know, Ethereum is the number two cryptocurrency in the entire world, most likely by next year. Everyone's predicting that Ethereum is going to overtake Bitcoin by market cap, become the number one cryptocurrency because it has such a strong use case. Bitcoin is just a store of value. Ethereum is a store of value and it's also a smart contract platform. There's a hundred other cryptocurrencies that run upon the Ethereum network and it does much more like NFTs and smart contracts, decentralized applications can be built upon it. So this is very good news. The Talc Butrin has held Dogecoin for many years. He's invested into it. He believes in the project. He loves the project and they're already working together. So to have the number one potential crypto currency platform and their leader working with Dogecoin and their developers, that's definitely going to help Dogecoin in the future. This is very, very big news. And if we take a look at one of the interviews with Lex Friedman and Vitalik, we see that Vitalik says that he thinks Dogecoin could be the number two or three cryptocurrency in the entire world. With this scalability, ladies and gentlemen, this is really big. This can definitely happen. And Dogecoin could potentially overtake Bitcoin in the future. Who knows? What do you all think about that? Give me a like if you think that that is possible. Most importantly, let's go ahead and do some technical analysis, what we do best. And let's see what's going on with crypto. Let's see where we are headed. So Bitcoin is headed down further as it appears, but we might be getting this strong bounce off of this little bounce zone, the strong level of support, because if we zoom into the price, we can see that we are potentially getting a nice bounce. This might end up playing out to be a bounce. Now, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies were beaten down. They were dropping, they're being shorted. That's the main thing. And then this whole share unlock with GBTC happened yesterday. But the main effects of it, I believe, were going to happen today. And now Bitcoin is headed up to 31,000. So I think people were just on the sidelines. They were fearful about this and they're waiting to see what's going to happen and play out. Um, now that the whole GBTC share unlock has become a non event, it's brought the price down a little bit because of people's fear. Nothing's happening. So I think that this is going to be a buying opportunity. The whales are definitely buying right now, but I think there's going to be a big universal buying opportunity to push the price of Bitcoin past this level. Bitcoin needs to get above 32,000, um, 32,400, and it's definitely going to start looking good. So we need to keep our eyes on the price of Bitcoin. What's happening with Bitcoin? Because that's definitely going to project where Dogecoin is going to be headed. Now, Ethereum is about 1800. The altcoins were getting beaten down. And if we zoom out all the way, Ethereum is still holding up strong. These cryptos, even though they've dropped, they have not come down to that original level of support, 1700 approximately. For, big, uh, for Ethereum, we haven't come down there. We could, we could potentially come down further, ladies and gentlemen. I would, I would definitely expect another small little dump before we begin the second leg up, before we get in the bull run. But if we don't, it'll be good. We'll start to bounce in this area. I think we're very, very close, ladies and gentlemen, to where we are going to bounce in the crypto market. We are getting very, very close. Most importantly for Dogecoin, we've come back exactly to this level of support that we've talked about and that I've shown you. Look at this. We pumped all the way up outside of it and come back down exactly to the same exact level. But this four hour candle is actually bullish because whenever you see a long wick, that long wick shows a major rejection. So it got it went down here and got pushed up very quickly. So this whole little area right here is a very strong level of support. The bears are not able to get it past this level as of right now. And the bulls are in control of this area. But we need cryptos to bounce off here very soon. So what's the worst case scenario for Dogecoin? We could end up coming all the way into the box. That's the worst case scenario. Maybe even outside of it to further levels, but that is not very likely. This level has become very strong. 
will most likely continue to hold up for us. But if it doesn't, we will come most likely to the bottom of it or break out a little bit under it. That's certainly where we are headed. But right now, the crypto market is going down, was going down. I think the sell-off is over with. We were having a bit of a sell-off to bring the prices down and it's not able to get it down much further. So this could be the potential bounce area for cryptocurrencies. I'm expecting a little bit of a bounce here. Hopefully by tomorrow or Wednesday, we will start to see some green in the crypto market finally kick this thing off. And if you guys want a good platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, use my Webull link. If you deposit $100, they will give you two free stocks worth up to $4,000, which you can immediately sell, buy cryptocurrencies with, or send it to your bank account at any time. If you guys got something out of the video, go ahead and smash up the like button. Share this video with some of your friends and family on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And I will see you all tonight. Have a good one.